Ooh, what a beautiful day. Um, yeah, back out. <laughs> um, I tried to come out um, in the week as I used to, and um, last Sunday after dropping the kids off. It gets dark far too early now. Um, last Sunday, I um, got here about half six. By eight o'clock, it was um, it was dark. Uh, grass a bit long. I only dug five holes. Um, my second hole was a beautiful uh, George III silver. Um, but yeah, uh, no, I can't make them. Uh, can't be coming out in the evenings much longer. Um, but yeah, today's beautiful, so I'm back out. Um, trying to go where I can where the grass is a little bit short. Um, I've had five fields cut, but the farmers just put the muck over it today, so I don't really want to go on them today. Um, so we'll try this one. This is the one that had the hospital on it. Uh, a bit further down. You usually find a lot of copper Victorian George V coins. Um, hopefully do a little better. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can find. Um, so I'll show you the George III coin I found last time. Um, and I'll see you on my next hole in this beautiful sunshine. Just pulled back the clod. And as you can see, it's stood there. It's quite a small one. No idea what it is. But I could just see the milled edge. So, oh, let's get it out. Together. Ooh. Here we go, look at that. Beautiful. And there's the man himself. So what state's that? 18. Give it a bit of a clean. Here we go. 1818. Nice bit of silver. Well, Happy with that. Let's carry on. Just turned over the clod. It's looking like a coin. Well, I hope it's a coin. No, nope, fooled. It's a uh, mystery item uh, number one. Uh, probably some electrical equipment item from the old school. Um, maybe I'm not trying to go near the school because I'm worried I'm trying to find stuff like this. Um, I don't know whether you can see. It's like a hedge bit bush there. That's roughly where the remains of the school, uh, school, the hospital was uh, from the 1915-1920s. Um, so I'm just trying to keep a distance because I just don't want to be uh, digging bits of building up. Um, but the rest of the fill, if you can see, is all ridge and furrow, so it's quite an old ploughed field. Um, but yeah, we'll carry on, see what we can get. Quite some time digging this hole out. And as you can see, it's about an inch above the, uh, the pinpoint, it's about nine inches. Um, solid 20 on the uh, clock 800. Very, very clear, very loud. And all the way down the bottom, I think it's a coin. Although, it seems very thin. Nope, I think I can fold again. I think it's a button. Yeah, quite a nice button. It's got a little bit of uh, circles going on. Probably had a little bit of gold gilding at one time. Yeah, a little bit of gold gilding on there. Quite thin, but the signal on that was absolutely cracking. Um, nine inches down. So yeah, and that's just with a standard coil as well. Cool, let's carry on.
other uh, button or coin situation going on. Um, if it is a coin, it's a coin of absolutely nothing. Oh, some writing going off on the out around the outside. Don't know. Let me get the toothbrush on it. And we'll have a, a better look. Okay, so we're definitely onto a coin. Uh, definitely onto an old coin. Um, you can just about make out Britannia there. Um, some writing going around the outside. Um, I can't work it out. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a, a coin of age. I mean, there's, there's possibly three ones there, so it might be George III. But I'd have thought, with Britannia being that way, the head would be that way. But it's down there, so I'm not too sure. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, see what else we can find. Okay, just had to make a, a uh, fast exit out of the field behind me. As you can see, now full of cows. Um, yeah, um, they were in this field. Um, digging a hole. <laughs> um, Gate opens, <laughs> letting them all in. I'm like, ah! Now, um, but I found a coin. It's quite a nice coin. <laughs> Just didn't get a chance to show you. Um, so I'll, uh, I don't know if you can see. Uh, Britannia? Not too sure who it is. But, a little detail. But I'm a little bit disappointed because it was like two nice old copper coins and now I'm uh, out of that field. So, uh, yeah, let's see what this field brings. See you on the first. As luck will have it. Silver coin. No idea of who. Um, uh, looking like George V. There you go, 1931, 50% silver. And there he is. Let's crack on. There. Another coin. Again, no idea. This one looks a little bit crusty. Uh, give it a little bit of a gentle wipe. Hmm. Let me get the uh, toothbrush on it and see if that's any better. No, nothing on there at all. Let's carry on. Okay, next. It's just a uh, the four hole button. Let's crack on. Okay, so my next find is quite interesting. It's this. I have absolutely no idea what it is. No, I whether it's part of a uh, the hammer on of a gun, I don't know. Not sure. But anyway, let's carry on. Hey, it's fine. Okay. Whoops. Okay, looks to be. A, uh, I'd probably say shoe buckle. 
and uh, I think I've just uh, knocked the pin out of it. There you go, the steel pin for it. Oh, well, let's carry on. This field has been very hard work. Um, yeah, a lot of scrap, a lot of tin foil and physical you know, ring pulls. Um, yeah, um, so oh, it's kind of going across and across and across from the top, almost down to the bottom of the field now. Um, found another coin, just another copper coin. Um, hopefully, I'm going to find some more silver before I go home. But <sighs> I do actually keep having dreams of this field when I'm in. There's actually a gold coin in here somewhere. Um, but uh, who knows? Um, anyway, let me show you this other coin. Here we are, right down the bottom. Ugh. Another deep one. Right. Again, I think it's just completely toasted. Let me just give it a little. Nothing on that side at all. No. Just a blank coin. But hey ho, let's, uh, let's carry on. Hey, this looks quite interesting. It's lead. Like a little... Hmm. Not sure if I've uh, clipped it or not. Let me give it a bit of a clean up. That's quite nice that. It's definitely a wait for something. Give it a bit of a clean up. Yeah. <clears throat> Looks like the hole's completely closed up. Um as you can see it's like a metal loop there. And it goes all the way through and then the lead has just been wrapped around it. But yeah. There we go. Bit of a little leg weight. Carry on. Okay, just turn the clod over. There's the imprint. It's a coin. Well, hopefully, it's a coin. I'm not a boy. Let's have a look. Ah, it's looking toasted. No, I can't really see anything on that at all. Never mind. No, right, let's carry on. Hey, imprint from this turned out really well. Oh, it's a uh, lovely ship's half penny. What about 1938 maybe? Yep, 1938. There we go. Let's carry on. Next find. Oops. It's like a little, uh, little horse. Oh, let's carry on. Okay. All right. You can't see me because that's beautiful sunset. It's gorgeous. Turn around. Woo! There you are. Uh, right, yeah, that concludes um, today. Um, it was all right. It weren't great. Still enjoy it though. Doesn't matter. Gets me out. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, why not? Um, and I'll see you all together very soon.